Time to Time by Neil McDermott. 120 pages, 60 colour images, just under 10 inches by 11. Limited edition of a thousand. You can still get it. You can, I think you can get it on Amazon. You can't buy it off Neil's site anymore. It's sold out. But I'm sure if you cross his palm with some silver, he might be able to dig one out for you. I would definitely get it. It's a lovely addition to your bookshelf. Not just because of its vibrant colour. Uh, it's, a, it, it's subject matter is really interesting. It gives you an insight into the people, the fabric of, of, of British culture in, in a few ways, which I'll go into in a minute. It's, it's a lovely set of images, part of a sort of bigger series of images where Neil travels the country basically and taking pictures and for specific reasons, for no reason, for just the wanderlust, just to get out, just to do things, but a sort of driven sort of passion to go about and meet people and interact with people and literally visually talk about this country. So it's a, it's a great book. It's very much about colour. I think, I mean, look, a lot of Neil's work, it's, a, it's all about colour, it's all about design, it's all about composition. And even before I really started looking at his work, and when I, I sort of just briefed on it and I showed students, there was, always, there was always things about the design which I really struck a chord with me, and it was something with when I showed his work to students, we'd always investigate it through design elements because he's very crucial to his work in the composition, in the way he portrays things, the, you know, he's... He's very, very into the colour. He's very into using selective colour with the foreground, his portrait of the individuals in the background. And they're more complex than you think these. What is also interesting is, and why it's, and I think he associates it with colour, is the covers of his different books. So this is the 2018 yellow. The 2015 red was uh, via Vauxhall, and that was in 2015, yes. The blue is Crossing Paths, that was 2013, that was his first book, and that's a portrait of Britain. So we've got the primary colours there, and Southwestern, which is due out in February 2019, which it's on its way apparently, so I'll get that and I'll review that straight away when I get it. I've been, look, I've been wanting to just show Neil's work, because like I've just mentioned, Neil's work is, is quite inspiring to a lot of students, and it's one of them formats a lot of students really understand quite quickly because not only is it a big part of social media culture it's it's, it's something that they're, they're sort of exploring each other in a sense and it's something they all feel that they want to explore to say something about themselves it's really tricky and it's interesting when you show a student and you introduce people to port rates how from when they first start looking at stuff to when a few months down the line they start to get it and that's why I use Neil's work because when I introduce portraiture to students there is a especially the sort of street photography style as well some men argue that this is not street photography it's out on the streets it's in the interpretation I show them people like Neil's work somebody like John Tonks who are like I like the way Alex Soft does his with the larger format. There are other photographers who are challenging portraiture in another way. But this is a very, it's a very straightforward style with a very complex layering to it. And that's what's interesting. And I think it's a really great tool, the, the way Neil shoots, to help students understand that how they place their subject matter, how they use the background, and how they use colour. And design elements is a big aspect of teaching students when they are starting out. But also, the, the subject matter is all over the UK, and it could be on their doorstep. And it's about getting the students to just look outside of their door and start shooting and put all of these principles which they're learning from people like Neil into practice and it's what's amazing is is that when they first sort of I introduced them to somebody like Neil and they're looking at it and they're, they're trying to work out and work out what what it's about and they're almost seeing the friends in shots like this let me just bring it down uh, they they begin to sort of investigate it just and it's just it's just a really rich process that 
eventually they start understanding that, that they could be either part of this, as, as these people could be their friends, could, they, they could be the photographer doing these portraits, and it's a really great learning curve, and, and that's why things like this are important, and it's a really great way of showing the fabric of our cultures and how, how cosmopolitan we are, how individual a lot of people are, and it, it's just nice having a, a positive vibe of, and a positive angle about everyday people, if that's a way, if that's a way to coin a to coin a phrase and, and, and how to describe this book. So let's come through it. And what we've got is got the pictures on the right. We have the uh, some text on the left, which is that way for me, which is that way. And what I'm going to do, it's all on the right. And I like the fact that it's interesting that it's all on that. It's almost feeling like two things. One, it's giving it a feeling maybe it's like it's exhibited in a way, isn't it? It's like it's like on a gallery wall in the sense that it's given it that focus that when you turn this page and it really, the white enhances the colour. But it just, I think it's really interesting. It separates the picture. You're not losing perspective on any way in the detail of the picture by looking on the left side. And I just think it lends itself to it. I think it's nice. Now, this is one of these shots which I, I, I discuss with students because when we're looking at colour, and it's interesting sending students out, just say, go out and concentrate on one particular colour and how they will dimensionalise the way they shoot. And they'll look at just a cigarette box and how they'll frame that, or they'll look at a person with a particular colour jumper on. And then we take it further and, you know, we're looking at the, the foreground, the midground, the background, and how we interact with that. So when you're going to shoot a colour, are you shooting just foreground or are you shooting background? What's, what's in the midground? And this is one of them shots which really emphasises that sort of use of foreground, background and midground. And you've got the colour right at the back of the yellow, you've got obviously the truck, the coming together of the yellow with the, the, the young chap and the, and the flag and the cigarettes and almost this, the whole feel of it's a bit yellow as well. And it's, even back there is yellow as well. And it's just one of them coming, it's a coming together, it's just... It's fantastic. This is in Carlisle and Cumbria. And you have to be out treading the boards to get this. And this is a sort of dedicated pro who is on a mission to bring things together. And his style differs as well, you know? And the eye level difference, he's given the low eye level, he's given them a real sort of powerful presence and almost sort of powerful sort of... And he's, he's, given, he's producing them two on a... He's delivering the image on it, both of them on an equal plane, so they're both looking as powerful as each other. She looks as big as him, you know? It's just fantastic. And that's when you're shooting below the eye line and looking up. That's in Leamington Spa. This is lovely. Again, that use of the background. And it's just matching the colours up. This is in uh, Rhonda in Wales. There's subtlety, the relationship, there's an engagement... There's a wonder of how did this happen, and that's what I think is really great about his work. And it takes a lot of a lot of balls to just go up and ask people, and then create the image, feel like you're not imposing. It. And that's another thing when you try with students to sort of get them to get out there. It's learning and teaching them how to deal with people, and finding that a lot of people are fine about it. And to point, you've got to almost do it yourself to sort of show the students that it's not that bad, I'll go out with them. And once they can bypass that barrier of stopping people in the street, then your photographs can start taking on a form. And Neil's just got this knack of stopping the right person. He, he, I wonder if he's looking for the backgrounds. Is it just, what's the connections he's looking for? And he wants to show what people are about and what makes up our country. There's a mix of race. There's a mix of colour, there's a mix of backdrops, there's a mix of textures. It's just fantastic. And, you know, you can get away with putting a big yellow car sticking out of her shoulder. But the depth of field, the eye-level language, the Union Jack there, right at the top, crafted, composed, you get away with that. Maybe some people would maybe take that out 
and and try and get the shot a little bit away. But he's le- he's just leaving it, and, and, and it's it's a brave move for something like that. But then they'll therefore, the but the girls are the most powerful element of that, and it works. It's in London. Again, just people you meet every day, isn't it? It's just fantastic. Brighton. It looks like if it wasn't for that, you'd think it was sort of West Coast America, wouldn't you? Fantastic. And there's a real controlling feel to these, that he's got them how he wants them. And you've got to be able to do that. And, And you can see he commands his model. He'll spot the model, get the model. I don't know how he goes and approaches them, but he'll spot somebody and... He takes full command, and he, 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 you can see that he's got full control. But just to get something like that, he makes it look so simple. This is Bristol. This is fantastic. It's totally the coming together stuff that's so hot. It looks like a UPS driver or something like that. Look at the colour again, matching it up. And these are little... You can learn off stuff like this. And I think people forget how important background is, how important the space is in a in a photograph, in a portrait especially. And just the randomness. He loves putting random things within the frame, and I love that. And it just gives it that incidental feel. This is one of the shots I use a lot with my students. And I've never asked them this, but I keep thinking about this shot a lot, and I always wonder what came first, the, the stripes are these stripes, the stripes of the shutters. How does it happen? And this is one of them shots where you wonder how it happened. It's not a complicated shot. The novelty of the shot is the stripes. And it, it's it's one of them, come, again, another coming together. Pure timing, got to be there. You've got to be in it to win it, haven't you? It's a great shot. And actually that shot there was in Morecambe and Lancashire. A great, getting the colour match again. And we, we, what's happening is we're jumping over from two pictures, but I think I've stayed at the right. If you want to get this, get out and buy it. Whitley Bear, it's great. Again, look at that. Using these colours, that's just wonderful. Using the perspective again, using the red, letting it blend. Now, this is a different style, and he does that often. He throws in a sort of, he takes the sort of, the standard format he's using and he just throws a different sort of format in and he engages with it totally. And this is quite different to everything else he's shooting. When you look at the engagement and then you see something like that, but it works. And why not? You know, why not put stuff in? But it's an interesting, totally different style of shot, I think, when you come back to that. Battersea in London, beautiful. Ah, look at this, again, the use of colour, Somerset. The models feel comfortable, you can see there's a, there's a, a real feeling of trust there. Berwick, again, you know, South Wales could be anywhere, could be anywhere. I like the fact that he's just incorporated that in, we look at it like that. Just gives it a bit of dimension, doesn't it? Having the having a little bit of the backdrop and a little bit of confusion going on there. But you've got the intersection points on the design. It's here, here, and here. Split. Thirds are perfect. It's just really great composition. Again, use of colour, the tone, the mid-tones, bringing it down. That's why I love this shot as well. This is West Yorkshire. He's not scared to put in something like that. It's just fantastic. Just uh, again, the orange, the oranges. It must have been his birthday when he comes across stuff like this. He sees an orange cellar with orange on. It's just like a... And it's just fantastic. Again, look at the colours. Very clever, very clever. And I think it's just obvious, you know, with with his work and that he's very... He has a real attention to detail, and that's what brings it all together, with his control on the subject and his detail. And again, a change of format slightly. We've got horizontal, and we've got the twos, the two sort of people in the shot. Another great shot. 
Love this shot as well. Again, change of format. Again, another coming together. Does he spot this and just wait it out? And these are things and these are the questions you should be asking yourself as a photographer when you want to get out there. You know, these things don't just happen like that. I mean, what's the chances? And it's how you use it. And that's what he does so well. There's a subtlety in it. There's a romanticism in it. And there's a sense of sentimentality, I guess, somewhere along the lines in it. This is Birmingham again, the colours. It's great. Down in London, isn't it? Fantastic. I think this is a great shot to end it on. The end is coming. Are you ready? Well, what can I say? I mean, look at that. That is just, it looks like something from the 1950s, doesn't it? If you're black and white that off, you would think it was somewhere 1950s. It's just fantastic. So, if you can get a hold of this, you'll be lucky. Only because it's a great insight into great photography, a real insight into British culture, and you can learn something from it. So you're very, be very lucky. Get out and get it. Um, thank you for watching. I hope I made some sense, and I'll put some links for Neil's website where you can get his new book, Southwestern, which was published on the 1st of Feb. It's out, it's coming out, it's on its route to people who bought it. I'm looking forward to getting it. Thank you for supporting us. Thank you so much to Olympus who've sorted out the cameras and we're doing a new camera video today with the new Olympus. Thank you very much. Keep supporting the channel and I will slowly start putting Olympus links up and stuff like that. Thank you. Thank you for watching.